Welcome back. Today I'm going to teach you how to sew together the side seams or this one actually is the, the under part of a sweater sleeve. So I'm going to teach you how to do this. This would be on a selvage edge, not on a bind off. So the very first thing I did was I threaded a tapestry needle. Now you don't have to have one that has a um, a curve in it like this one. I just happened to grab this one because it was the closest one. Um, but you do want a tapestry needle that, that the yarn will fit in. So I have the yarn that's hanging from the sleeve. I'm going to take it, I've got that on the, the needle. I'm going to go to the corner, the very, very corner opposite where the string is hanging. I'm going to go through that corner, okay? And I'm gonna to come toward myself, okay? So this is a technical term I like to call to me, to me, to me. And the reason is I'm making my needle come to me. Then I go to, this, to the corner where my yarn came out of. To begin with, I'm gonna go in and go to me again. There's not a rhyme or a reason to the exact spot. I just get in the corner. To me. And at the end, I'm going to do one more and go back to where I went in the first time and go to me. As you can see, it makes kind of a figure eight with the yarn. When you pull that, um, I usually pull it a little tighter when I'm doing it, but I wanted you to be able to see. When you pull it tight, it makes it look like yet another um, cast on, and it just makes it look nice. So, then what do we do? Now, we are on the right sides, which is different than sewing. We are always on the right sides with, um, with putting together sweaters. So, I take my needle, and I keep my needle perfectly parallel to the outside of the garment, okay? I'm going in, keeping my needle perfectly parallel. You do not want it to go diagonal at all. You just want to get the outside. You wanna get those humps. This happens to be seed stitch on the edge. So you, you I'm actually picking up the bump of the pearl, but, um, it's still a bump after I get through with this. But you're just going in and out of the side. From one side to the other. Now, here's a good way of looking at it. You will put your needle in the same spot as it came out the last time. So right there and get the next hunk of stuff. Don't you like my technical terms? The next hunk of stuff, the teamy, teamy, teamy. As you can see, I've got it very loose, but after a couple stitches, I want to pull it. I don't yank on it real tight, but what it does is it makes it look like yet another stitch. So I'm going to get another one. And again, I'm going in where I came out of on the opposite side. So I came out of there. That was my last stitch. I go in here. And you know, I usually use my brain when I'm teaching this and use a different color so you can see it, which might just have to happen the next time. If you can see. I'm trying to get away from the seed stitch because it's a little more tricky with the seed stitch because you see the pearls and the knits. Okay, so I'm past that. And I've gotten to the, the part where it's just stuck in it, as you can see. I'm going in. I'm still doing the same thing, but it's a little easier to see. I go in where I came out of. 
in the opposite side. So I came out of there, going in that same hole and getting the next hunk of stuff. Over here, I came out of there, I go back in here, and I get that next hunk of stuff. I'm gonna leave mine loose. I came out of there, I go in here, get the next hunk of stuff. I came out there, so I go here, get the next hunk of stuff. All right, you see how loopy and ugly that looks? I'm gonna pull it a little tighter And look, it just looks like another stitch. So I go back and I continue. There, I came out of here. So I go there and back up. The main thing is keeping your needle perfectly parallel to the knitting. to the edge of the knitting, I should say. So that's what it looks like. Now you will see some funny looking stitches right there and right there. That's where um, I've done some decreases um, on this particular garment. So you will see a little bit of that, but that's what that is. Okay, so those of you that um, like to knit raglans, you'll see this is a raglan, top down raglan. I don't like to knit my sleeves in the round, and there are several reasons why. First of all, I don't like to be in the round on short needles. Um, I also do not like um, double-pointed needles. And my third reasoning is I really dislike having a sleeve that gets distorted and starts to twist on your arm. It just doesn't feel right. And when you have a seam which this is not a very difficult seam at all to do. Um, if you have a seam, it tends to stay and it tends to lay down right. So, um, but on a raglan, you will get up to the top of the, the sleeve and there's some funny maneuvering to do. So I've left the other sleeve, I've done most of it. And I'm gonna show you. Here is most of it. Again, you'll see where the um, where the decreases are. There, 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 there. All right, so here is the top. To finish it off, um, this one actually didn't have a whole lot of add-on. Some sweaters, you have a lot of add-on under the sleeve. On this one, there was very little, but okay, I'm gonna give you another technical term. You make it work. So, up here at the top, you're just going to make it work closing up holes. Now, of course, this one not only has holes from um, where we've added stitches, but it also has holes because of the stitch pattern but I am just closing up as many of the holes as I can. If there were some cast on stitches under the arm, we would do the stitch that we do at the shoulders and I will be showing that one as well. Um, we call that one point to point because it's a bind off or cast on area and it's not the selvage edge. So when you're done, you just stick your needle through the back, turn it over, and then wind in your used threads. I like to put mine through the seam, and I like to go three or four in one direction, in and out, in one direction, and then I turn around and I go back the, the same direction I came in, 
for a couple, maybe two or three. Now, if this was a child's, I'm doing six or eight down and three or four up because they're a little harder on their on their clothes. So that is how you seam um, an edge that is a selvage edge. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our newsletter, um, knithappens.com, like our Facebook page, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for joining us.